Hello everybody, welcome back. We've only played two games since you were last with us, but have we continued that winning way to try and establish ourselves for a mid-table finish? We have Sheffield Wednesday in our sights. Can we overtake them in today's episode? I so certainly hope so. Welcome to Be A Legend. Welcome to episode 49 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark. And on today's episode, we have the final two games in the championship season. Uh, both games away. Reading and then Crystal Palace. So around the London area, uh, we will be today South London and to the uh, west of London um, for these games. And uh, a quick roundup of what has been happening since you were last with us. Well, um, as you will see from the screen, um, we have um, been doing okay. Um, in fact, I've got the screen up uh, that really just gives you a bit of a lowdown of um, the team. Uh, Afri on 23 goals, Helm on six, uh, 16 assists, and Robbie McKenzie has the most player of the matches on five. So he's done very well, and you also see at the bottom there how we've been doing uh, score-wise as well just recently. Let's have this screen up. Um, this is quite a good one to do. And, uh, yeah, so um, as uh, as we are, this uh, is the last games that you saw were Burnley and Bristol City, I believe. And uh, since then... Uh, we've played Ipswich Town and beaten them by two goals to nil. Two goals to nil. And then Crewe, uh, three goals to nil. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Grychek, Grychek, who uh, has been sitting on the subs bench pretty much all season, uh, has had his chance because Sanchez has been injured. Um, he had a groin strain uh, and was out. Uh, my uh, assistant manager wanted to play him, um, but we decided against it for the Ipswich game um, and played him there, and uh, he was solid. And as you'll see from the uh, from the stats, um, so was the defence. Mackenzie, uh, McElroy, Gomez, Kenlock, all really good in that uh, defensive line. So uh, between them, um, really made an effective block. Um, and then Crew. Exactly the same. A 3 0 win this one. And as you'll see, again, maybe with Grzyzek, not quite so good in this one, but again, a fairly solid performance performance from the defence. Having said that, what we do have to take into account is Ipswich were on the bottom and crew were just above them. So we did play the bottom two sides there. Um and uh as it turned out, uh we we've we've think Grzyzek, I think, will be in the team for today's game against Reading simply because Simply because um, I think he deserves, after those two games, I think he deserves another run out. But of course, we're on camera and you know what's going to happen because this is Football Manager after all. Um, so two good wins there. Um, and this is how the championship looks. Let's have a look at the bigger picture. Uh, Brighton have been confirmed as champions. I think we have done for some while now. Birmingham, Fulham are guaranteed playoff places. So they will be fighting for positions because obviously... In uh, in in any playoff, the the higher you are, the better uh, chances you get, and I think you get the home draw as well on the uh, on the playoffs. So no, you don't. It's, um, it's two legged jobs. Crew and Ipswich. In fact, we've relegated both of them um, since uh, since we played them, uh, and it's just Huddersfield that the only team now that can survive with six points to go. They are three points adrift. They need to win both their games realistically to stand any sort of chance. We, as you will see, are 14th, nicely nestled mid-table, uh, pretty much where we wanted to be. But my targets are set here on 12th place, Sheffield Wednesday, who have 57 points. They have played the early game um, and they have uh, only managed a 1-1 draw 
that was against Burnley, which means that we could overtake them today um, if we if we were to beat Reading and if we could beat Reading and Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace are currently below us. Um, if we can play, beat both of them, um, then we will finish on 62 points and potentially we have a chance of actually finishing 12th. Uh, but obviously depends on what uh, happens with Queen's Park Rangers and Swansea, who are on the same points around us and everybody else, of course. So we'll see how it all pans out. It's going to be an interesting episode for sure. Right. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go and uh, to our first game, uh, which is the game away to Reading at the Majeski Stadium. And here is the team that we are putting up for that game. Uh, the game against a Reading. And uh, as you will see, Grajek has stayed in goal. Um, my uh, assistant manager wanted to switch again with Sanchez. We're leaving Grajek. I think he's played two fantastic games. He deserves a game against a bit of a higher established size and see how he gets on. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. And Sanchez may play the last game of the season. But Grajek uh, stays in goal. Kenlock, Gomez, Elleru and McKenzie uh, continue as our back line. The back line that have played so well in the last couple of games. Benny Carroll, sorry, Bobby Carroll and Max Sanders uh, continue in those central midfield roles. Thomas, Helm and Edwards are attacking midfield with Afre, uh, the lone striker up front on the bench. Sanchez, Head. Henry, Tuppin, Barker, Anderson and Santos. Uh, I have to say that uh, when he came on last time, um, Anderson had an absolutely fantastic game in that central midfield, well, central midfield on the outside. Um, he actually had a um, really good game. Um, oh, apologies. <clears throat> I must uh, I must get oh there was uh I can't go back now can I there was a message for me there but um right want you to pick up where you left off last time hopefully that's not going to hurt us too much there was a little message there for me to click on to, for, for them to mark somebody and we go we just come up anyway um I don't think it's going to give us a chance to do anything with it at the minute Hopefully it will in a minute. Yaku Mete. Um, I think I can do it from here, actually. Opposition. Yaku Mete. Show on to foot. We can do it from here. Show on to the weaker foot. Assuming he has a weaker foot, of course. And... Uh, I'll confirm those changes currently up to 13th we were 14th when we started but Queen's Park Rangers I presume are losing they've uh, dropped down a little bit McKenzie to Edwards Edwards looking for a way through he's creating a bit of space but he's been tackled and uh, given the ball away and oh Efray getting the opportunity um, Edwards here being tackled uh, but uh, Pushkus and fired it a great straight against Helm um, and uh, it come off of Helm into the path of Afre. Afre, obviously not expecting it to come his way um, had a bit of a snatch shot and put it wide of the post never mind it's uh, it was good reaction good to see as we head towards the half hour mark They have a free kick now. And I've got it to Pushkus. And Helm has tackled Pushkus. And gets the ball forward to Thomas. Luke Thomas now. He's put it straight over the top. Beat the goalkeeper. But uh, fired that a little bit too high. Let's hope this isn't a game of uh, small margins. And uh, we're going to look back on these couple of attempts that Afre's missed. And now... Uh, Luke Thomas has fired over the top. Let's hope they're not going to come back and bite us. We're up to 13th now as well, which is... Oh, I think we'd already said that. Um, 
to win and a goal would put us in good stead we get through to half time we are nil nil we've been by far the better side they've had two shots one of which has been on target we've had eight but only managed to get two on target the two um that uh, have gone up well, they weren't on target but we've got two on target 0.51 xg so we need to pump that up a little bit um after half time 57 percent of the possession right we will be right back with the second half and see if we can actually get ourselves ahead in this game and you come back for the second half no changes on either side made at half time afre is going to get us underway for this second half place the ball back to carol and that is the end of that we have a corner now sanders with the corner scoops it in but it's headed clear by mayo sanders and he runs into the area and has a shot himself again puts it over the top only just but uh, it still went over the top kenlock heads it down and uh, i think it's flicked on but to helm helm not getting to that one i'm not quite sure what happened there we missed out but helm's tidying up in midfield he's doing a splendid job a through to El edwards edwards Let's hope this is a, quite a good build-up. Carroll to McKenzie and that something comes of it. McKenzie. He's been tripped in the area and we have been given a penalty. McKenzie will take it. He's uh, rewarded for his energy to get into the area. Can he score? He has been known to miss them. But not this one. And I, I think that's no more than we've deserved, really. 10th uh, goal of the season from Robbie McKenzie. We need to have a look and see how many penalties he scored, actually, um, of those 10. But uh, he usually goes left side, so he's he actually changed sides there. But the, the interesting thing with that is not only did he change sides, um, the goalkeeper went the same way as well. So that's quite interesting. So maybe the goalkeeper would have gone the wrong way. He had a uh, thing. Maybe he thought he'd uh, do a switch um and uh anticipated it we are up to 12th uh 59 points uh just above sheffield wednesday now now the trick is going to be to stay there a bit of a change in formation for reading so they're going to try and get back into this game 70 minutes has come just going to have a look i'm not necessarily going to make any changes at the minute being our phrase not playing particularly well in up front there and he has had chances and i don't really want to muddy the waters if we don't need to nobody's playing particularly badly the defensive line not playing perhaps as solidly as they did before but then reading are a better team in a way so we're not going to do anything for the minute we're just going to see somebody gets tired we will do a change but for the minute We'll hang on to what we've got. We have a throw in on that far side. Kenlock throws it into Gomez. Back to Kenlock. Kenlock finds Thomas on that wing who gets the ball forward to Helm, who's having a, a goodish game. Carroll crosses it in, and that's number two. Opie Edwards, who scored two in the last game against Crew, has got his goal. I think that's the. Uh, did I see the 11th goal of the season? I don't think it was, actually. I will check. But Helm who, as I say, is having a good game. Lovely back ball back to Carroll, who's plenty of space. And Opie Edwards just side-footed it via the post, I think. And uh, that should put the result beyond doubt with any shadow of doubt. Um, and I'm now wondering whether just to make a couple of changes just to thing it. I think what I'm going to do is going to give Tuppin a bit of a an outing up front there. Helm is tired. Uh, he's got a. So we'll perhaps change. Uh, that's recommended. Right. We're going to put Henry in there. And we're going to bring Tuppin on up front. So, in fact, doing two changes. Uh, pump this. Do that. And that. And back to the game. We have a free kick. Henry with the free kick swings it in. Carroll 
just couldn't get it down it skims the crossbar and uh, unfortunately a game of missed chances otherwise we'd have really um, put this one to bed um, all right as we are into injury time I'm just gonna do the change it's recommended Thomas is switched for Anderson which we've done and we've gone through to full time and once again that's three games in a row now that we haven't conceded with Grijek in goal I think he might stay there for the last game of the season folks especially as we want to get stay in front of Sheffield Wednesday good game um, I think we had the better of Reading pretty much throughout uh, 0.48 they had a better second half for sure um, eight shots three on target we had 15 shots six on target so we're producing the uh, the, the goods uh, 2.05 xg in the end 56 percent of the possession two goals mckenzie from a penalty spot and opie edwards with a a very good uh volley so well done lads that was a good win for us and puts us neatly in the table we'll have a look at that in just a moment here comes the end of uh games thing so with one game to play we are in 12th place we could end up as low as 15th because they are only three points behind us so we've got to get at least a point out of this next game uh, Sheffield Wednesday still could overtake us um, if they win their last game as well so I think a win would mean that we finish 12th and uh, I think uh, Bearing in mind, we had a bit of a slackluster start to our time here at Charlton um, and to finish above Sheffield Wednesday, the team that sacked us um, partway through the season uh, would be divine retribution um, for sure. Uh, right, Huddersfield must have won their game. Didn't let's have a quick look. They did. In, fa in fact, they beat Bristol City by two goals to one um, in that one. So they've put themselves in a position where if Blackburn were to lose their last game of the season they would drop Blackburn in but Brentford's still not safe I think Brentford must have lost because um, they had opened a bit of a gap and uh, it looks like that gap's been swallowed up again in fact I can't see Brentford why can't I see Birmingham Ipswich Blackburn in fact Brentford have a game in hand they've got to play Queen's Park Rangers which could actually nullify <laughs> our 12th place damn i hadn't realized which means there must be a later game going on um, we'll get that result in just a moment and uh we might be in 13th after this let's go and have a look team secure playoff spots watford and derby county in the playoffs uh we need to do this um, acknowledge that one acknowledge that one what I'm really after is the results here we go Brentford have beaten Queen's Park Rangers by two goals to one two goals to one which means that uh, Queen's Park Rangers still stay in 14th we still stay in 12th three points in front of them and um, Brentford have in fact guaranteed their place in the championship so it's between uh peterborough and in fact i think huddersfield even if they were to get three points they got such a huge uh difference in gold i think peterborough are reasonably safe um even blackburn have got to score five clear goals in order to uh to think so it's really between blackburn and huddersfield here at the bottom of the table right uh, we will be back shortly for the final game of the season, which is against Crystal Palace away. They're currently in 16th and uh, we are in 12th. We need a win to make sure that we stay in front of Sheffield Wednesday. Can we do it? We're about to find out. And you join us for the look at the team that will play against uh, Crystal Palace in the final game of the season, local derby. In fact, lots of local derbies being played in the championship in the final game of the season. Um, of the other games of interest, uh, Brighton 
um, are playing Sheffield Wednesday. That's not a local derby, as you will understand. Uh, but uh, Brighton, as they have uh, won the championship, uh, currently on 101 points. They'll get looking for 104 points. I think that's a tough match for Sheffield Wednesday. Fingers crossed it's that tougher match that... Uh, despite our result today we can uh, we can stay above them um in the league and uh, the other matches uh, are down the bottom as i said blackburn and huddersfield are the two sides uh looking uh, at the final relegation place uh, huddersfield have a, a local derby against barnsley and blackburn are playing burnley um burnley at home so uh that could be an interesting afternoon of results uh, when we come round to it. All being played at the same time, of course. And this is the team we're pushing out against Crystal Palace. Grzyzek, uh gets his chance to stay in goal. Fourth game in a row. Um, and he is there. Kenlock, Gomez, Elleru and Head. Head coming in for... Who normally plays in that right back position? Um, I don't think it's been Head. Oh, no. Yes, I know why. I do know why. Um, because he's injured, isn't he? Yes. In fact, I've changed the filterization. I was looking at the goals from McKenzie. So McKenzie normally in that place. McKenzie is injured. He's out for five to six weeks, so uh, he won't be playing. Head has Sean Head has come in in his place. Uh, but I did look at McKenzie. Scored uh, three penalties out of five uh, goes that he's had uh, so far this season. So. Uh, He's, he's more than 50% hit rate on that. Uh, Carroll and Sanders continue in midfield. Thomas, Helm and Edwards are, are mid attacking midfield, as uh, was Afri up front. So just that one change head for McKenzie. Uh, Sanchez, Barker, Henry, Tuppin, Taylor, Anderson and Santos are our team uh, on the bench. Let's go through to this final game of the season. And as you'll see, Sean uh, Head for McKenzie. Um, and the teams are warming up. Erling Moe is the manager. And uh, because this is on television, we will get the tunnel interviews in a moment. Um, Pump fist. We've got nothing to lose. Let's show them what we're capable of. I think that's uh, what we're going to do. Um, let's go through for the tunnel interview. Derby Day. How much do you look forward to taking on your local rivals? Um, or you just look forward to this one. A real buzz in the training pitch. Uh, how important do you think a good team spirit of Charlton has been in recent run of form? Um, team playing with the freedom created by confidence. Um, life is more fun when everybody's happy. I think that's uh, true. And you must then worry that any loss of uh, Clamous has spent on your confidence. I don't think uh, one loss can destroy the team's confidence. Uh, morale's high. Plan to keep it that way. And we are underway. Question being... And... Uh, They have a free kick. Haggy crosses in. It's missed, but uh, Grzyzek tidies up very neatly. Head to Edwards. Edwards with the ball forward now to Carroll. And he's had a second bite of the cherry. He's not had that. Thing. Even the third bite of the cherry. It's come back to Thomas. Thomas crosses it into the box. It's headed clear. Sanders picks it up. Got it to Head. Head comes all the way back to Ellaru. Ellaru now looking for... In fact, he's giving it away, but Afri's in. Uh, but the goalkeeper uh, made himself big and saved it. With 24 minutes gone. Afri. Not getting that away. 
and uh, right, need to press Haggy. As half time approaches, half time has arrived, and uh, we uh, still nil nil. Um, Crystal Palace four shots, two on target against us, six and two. We've got an XG of 1.21 against their 0 0.40, uh, 56% of the possession. So, reasonably good uh, first half. Just need to get that goal, um, but. Uh, Better than being behind, so we're okay at the minute, and uh, we want to stay in front of Sheffield Wednesday. Have a look at. Uh, can we have a look at latest scores and tables? Yep, yeah, we can. Um, where are we? Brighton nil nil against Sheffield Wednesday, so that's uh, pretty. Barnsley are beating Huddersfield, which means Huddersfield at the moment are the team that are going to be relegated. And Blackburn are losing against Burnley. So no change there at the bottom. Um, both teams need to do something if they are to get out of that. Well, Blackburn would be quite happy as it is at the minute, but they only need Huddersfield to get back and they're in trouble. So they, they've got it all to do in those games. Right, we'll be right back with the second half very, very shortly. And you come back for the second half. No changes made at half time either side, as I've seen. And Afri gets us underway for this second half. Currently in 12th on 60 points. And I think uh, Ken Locke's picked up a yellow card. I think uh, there would have been a time when uh, we wouldn't have expected to get 60 points. Ken Locke, a long throw. But unfortunately, it gives it away. That's uh, going all the way into the corner. Grijek comes out of his area and tidies up. Gets it to Kenlock, who gets the ball forward looking for Afray, um, but uh, it's not got there. Ball forward from them. To, uh, Gomez brings it down to Afray now through via, and he's scored. Afray gets his 24th goal of the season. And uh, as I say, probably nothing more than we deserve that uh, lead. Gomez gets it down. Saunders forward to Afray. Afray creates a bit of a space, decides to have a go, uh, has a go, and scores. We're on 62 points at the moment. Four points clear of Sheffield Wednesday. As we come down to the 18-minute mark, we've got some tired legs out there. Let's uh, have a bit of a change. Bobby Carroll, he's been a uh, Good store there. Um, he's going to come on for Henry. Luke Thomas will be Anderson. And that's the changes for the moment. Now Helm is tired and, and Kenlock. Right. It's me going to make a change right. So normally we would put Henry in that slot. Uh, but Tuppin is there and can play as well. So what we're going to do is Helm for Tuppin. And away we go. Right, need to... Press Cameron Johnson, and we're going to win this game by a single goal. No, we're not. Uh, we've cleared the ball, but they're going to come back, and they're on the attack. And ooh, cleared. Sanders gets it forward to Afray. Afray, is he is he going to have his second? No, puts it wide, but a good try, and uh, probably deserved that. And I think that will be time. It is time, in fact. Um, we have won that final game of the season by a single goal, which means we will have finished higher than Sheffield Wednesday. And I don't want to say it, 
outstretch really specialized now we give us chance magnificent congratulations i think that's a what can i be beating your pretty rose uh absolutely delighted and we finished 12th who would have had us in 12th place when we took this team over we were down here somewhere 20th 21st place go back and have a look uh, as it's finished huddersfield have been relegated uh, those scores that one nil and uh, as it was blackburn lost two nil uh, but it didn't really matter for blackburn as luck had it huddersfield uh, were beaten and uh, sheffield wednesday new manager nil nil draw it was a good result for them against uh, brighton but uh, it was nil nil so we finish above sheffield wednesday so sheffield wednesday that's all i can say uh if you're a sheffield wednesday fan apologies um it's only a game really uh 62 points for the season i'm uh, more than happy with that um i think we've uh, we've acquitted ourselves very very well come the end be interesting when we look at the uh uh, end of season review we usually do the bit about breakdown of the uh, of the table and uh, how we did first half how we did second half home and away and all that be interesting to see how we did uh, what I am going to do I'm going to continue just for a second I know the episode's uh, gone past the half an hour but I do apologize for that um, let's just send I don't want I don't want to I want to uh... damn can I uh, can I redo that? Send my assistant. Yes, I can. Thank goodness for that. Um, Barnsley secure a playoff spot, so we'll see how all that pans out. Uh, what I really want to do is just look at this end of the season running, because we lost one 0 to Bristol City and and they stole it at the death. Really shouldn't have lost that at all. Um, a nil nil draw would have been fine there, but actually, if you look at this, Barnsley two nil nil nil. We've only conceded one goal. Uh, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. That is good defensive play, to be fair. Um, since that, Barnsley, uh, Burnley, nil, nil. Um, and then obviously the two, nil, three, nil, two, nil, one, nil. I think that was an exceedingly fantastic run in. I'm really, really pleased. Right. Well, that's it. I think uh, we can say that we've had a very good end to the season with Charlton I'm looking forward to next season and can we um can we pressurize for a, maybe a playoff place I don't know we'll see or are we going to get the sack again like we did at Sheffield Wednesday hopefully not well I hope you've enjoyed today's episode if you have don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with all that uh, future episodes of this and my other series as they are uh, come out. Uh, new episodes of To Be A Legend currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date with all that's happening on this channel, then uh, why not subscribe on my Twitter at Just Offside 2. Keeps you up to date with everything that's going on. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to join me for episode 50, which is out on Thursday. It's our end of season review and what a season it is um, for our Charlton um, team. And uh, look, really looking forward to a bright next season if we can bring a few more players in uh, to back up what we've already got. But uh, an absolutely fantastic end of the season there, as we've already said. Till next time, goodbye. <laughs>